Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. Good Sunday morning, everybody. We are getting ready to make some breakfast this morning. So guys, I'm not doing a haul because David just picked up a couple things for breakfast this morning that I could cook. We are in the mood for an omelet. So he went to the store, picked up a red onion, picked up some um, peppers. I wanted poblano peppers, but came home with these uh, pasilla peppers. And I Googled them because I've never had one. And it said that sometimes they're mistaken uh, by the producer and mismarked and they're really poblano. Now, this actually has a different texture. I don't know if it is poblano or pasilla, but we'll find out, I guess. So I have one of these, which is 5.4 ounces roasting, along with two um, lovely, oh, did you hear that? Along with two of my serrano peppers that were roasting in my air fryer. I did these for 12 minutes at 350 degrees on my little air fryer. All right, so I've taken it out of my air fryer. It looks nice and yummy. So David picked up some barbecue chicken from Smokey Moe's the other day, and I'm using the leftovers. And where are we? We are at 4.5 ounces of chicken. Daisy, what are you doing? Are you wanting a pet food? They love each other, mostly. Goodness, Daisy, what are you doing? She loves torturing Booley. <laughs> All right, guys, we're also adding 2.7 ounces of some mushrooms, 1.3 ounces of black olives. All right, guys, here we are at the stove. So did I mention it's day three of our no sugar? Yeah, already. So here we are, we are cooking an omelet and in this pan, first thing I did was put in two tablespoons of Kerrygold butter, followed by my onions, sauteed those up a bit and then added the rest of the ingredients. The black olives, the mushrooms, the chicken and the serrano. Here we are, plate number two. We're going to add our eight eggs into a pan. I've got, look at this guys. Have you ever seen these copper skillets? Holy guacamole, you really don't need a lot of oil in here. Look how it separates when you have too much oil, but that's all right. We're all about the fat here. I've got a tablespoon of bacon drippings in here, along with my eggs. We're gonna let this set up a little bit. So here we are, we have our pepper jack cheese and I have shredded it. All right. We have just over two ounces. And guys, look at that overfilled omelet. Now keep in mind, this is an omelet for two. That's why it's overfilled. Depending on my macros here, I may not have a whole bunch more to eat after this. All right, so guys, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over in a minute. All right, guys, check it out, our overstuffed omelet. I'm about to put a lid on it and let it melt down. Here is gonna be the sauce for it. I have half a cup of Heavy whipping cream. I have 1.5 ounces of Parmesan cheese. All of my lovely pasilla peppers. And they are spicy, guys. Kind of reminds me of a meal that we get over at um, IHOP. Oh man, I'm hoping mine's better. Well, guys, our giant overstuffed yumminess is ready. Look at that omelet, doesn't it look good? And the sauce is ready too. I went ahead and added about a teaspoon of uh, crushed garlic to this as well. We're gonna go ahead and get this plated and I'll see you in a minute. Check it out, guys. Breakfast is about to be served. Oh my goodness, doesn't that look good? David is gonna do a little taste test. We'll see if it's too spicy for him. The serranos and the pasilla peppers were really spicy, guys. So if you are not into spice, you can go ahead and substitute the serrano for jalapenos and the um, pasilla for poblano and or bell pepper. Hey, David. Hey. What you got there? I've got an eight egg omelet <laughs> and two dogs that won't leave me alone. I know. Daisy, come here, baby. Um, they think they're going to get some. They're not getting But any. they're not going to get some. Because it's spicy. Yeah. Uh, I, and don't, I don't beg them when they're eating dog <laughs> food. Exactly. All right, guys. So this is an omelet. David's going to do a taste test on it. And these are the pasilla peppers that you bought me. They yes. look just like poblano, but they are spicier. Cutting. And I'm so hungry. <laughs> Hi, Daisy. <laughs> look at her, babe. Oh, I don't have to look at her. <laughs> Here we go. Mmm. Oh, got a little tingle going on. <laughs> I thought so. 
Yeah, it's a little spicy, but it's wonderful. Yeah. When are you going to open up your own keto restaurant? There you go, babe. Any day now. Truly, that I mean, that guy with the spiky hair can come by your restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Guy? Let me see how you do that there. <laughs> yeah. And this is keto? Wow, it's good. You like? Oh, I love it. I love it. Two thumbs way up. And the, five out of five. And the heat scale? Um, It's not overwhelming. Peace out. Be blessed, guys. I'm going to let you have some of it. <laughs> I'm going to let you. I'm going to let. Thanks, babe. All right, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday. It's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rice, pork rice, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah.